Eric. Beep. Uh, uh, beep. What are you doing? Beep. Well, we're detecting memories. Oh. Have you found many? Oh, lots. Oh, well, perhaps you could help me out. Help me show me daughter just how special this place was. Amateur detector is hoping for a beep. An ocean's worth of treasure buried underneath the deep. The show was called Everything There Ever Was, and it followed the story of a family who were about to move away from Crimden. And the show began up on the dunes, overlooking the stunning Crimden Beach. If you don't believe that this place is magic, if you don't believe this place is special, if you don't believe this place is important, then come with me. And then from there, Trimden Brass led the audience down into Crimden Dean. And then there, the rest of the piece unfolded that shared memories of Crimden Dean, loads of singing, loads of members of the community coming together, a live band, some beautiful costumes and artworks that basically told the story of why Crimden Dean is special and why it should be celebrated. Fair came down to Crimden Dean, bumper cars and slot machines. Dad said they were the brightest lights this course had ever seen. It was um, like a whole show based about the olden days, so a family was moving to the Isle of Wight and the Nana took them down to Crimden Dean to have fun and everything before they left. I enjoyed the acting and that I um, got to be with my friends while I was doing it. And she said, scream if you want to go faster. It was really important in the show that it didn't feel like there was a big barrier between the performers and the audience, that in a sense that everybody who was coming to the event and everyone who was performing in, in the event had their memories of Crimden Dean. Hi, my name is Janet, I'm from Horden. I have actually five decades of memories from this Crimden Dean. Obviously different generations will remember different parts of the Dean. So I think it was nice that we shared our memories. I loved when we were talking about the Miss, Miss Crimden and everything, because it was massive. You won Miss Crimden! Yay! I never thought it would happen. Okay. And it was nice coming up looking at the memories my mum sold candy floss and my dad worked on the waltzes. It was a match made in heaven. And that's really good for, for young people and old people to talk about their memories and share them and so they can pass down to the next generation. The community was at the heart of every word that was spoken in the piece. Dan, by the writer, interviewed over 300 people at workshops in the process of developing the script and the songs for the show. Boff Wally wrote the songs, drawing on the lyrics that Dan Bay had written, and then Becky Owen set them for a community choir. I move like a glacier, nothing happens twice. Everything there ever was was carved out by the ice. We really wanted the show to be something that brought different generations together, and there was a lot of stories in the show that were older people's memories of Crimden Dean, but it felt really important to have children's voices in it as well and their, you know, how they play in the Dean and what the area means to them. Right from the ice age till the dawn of man Kids been waiting for an ice cream van I'll take a single cone A single cone Or a 99 99 Young John here found a stone somewhere in the bushes over there that says on it Sunderland Rock and it says, post to Facebook. So you've got to take a picture of it, post it on Facebook, say where you found it, and then throw it away again. So someone found that stone, our John. A round of applause for John and for Hannah, who helped as well. The show featured a choir of 64 people um, that came from all over the place. So we had a big group of young people who came from Dordan Youth and Community Centre. We had some children from Thornley Primary School. And then we also had a community group based at Blackhall Community Centre. And then on top of that, there was an invitation for anybody to get involved on the day. So we had some really brave people turning up on the morning of the show and learning five songs and performing alongside everybody else. I wasn't really that confident to have one of them being part, but and then once I did it, I was actually like, I was building up my confidence and I did it.
On the day, it was wonderful walking the, and, and seeing all the people. So it's great that they have these, these community things going to get people together. I was really, really pleased, definitely a thousand percent pleased then that I agreed to take part in it. It was great. It was so wonderful that a piece that was made by the community was enjoyed by so many people. I, I enjoyed practically everything. I enjoyed everything that there was. What I really hope the legacy is, is that those people who did take part carry on singing and get involved in other activities, but also that the people in the audience who didn't sign up to join the choir watched them perform and thought, do you know what, I might do something like that next time, I might sign up. That's what I would like the legacy to be. When we go.